I am Madison Sconyers. I am the training specialist with the Polk County Treasurer's Office. On a monthly basis, we meet as a collective, as the PAB, and we just talk about what are different ways that we can get each of our respective communities that are a part of the larger Des Moines community involved in HIV AIDS awareness, whether that is just going out to the community and educating, um, anti-stigma campaign, and just other creative, inventive ways to get the message out that you can have a full and happy life with HIV AIDS. I actually am on the communities uh, subcommittee as well. So specifically finding community engagement activities as a way for our message to get out to Polk County citizens or anybody that's in the central Iowa area. The fact that you can live a full fulfilling life with also having the HIV AIDS virus is amazing. I did not know that before. I think a lot of people in the community, specifically the black community, it is shied away from where, oh, it's this taboo thing that you just don't talk about and you hope you don't get. But when you don't talk about it, you're really not setting yourself up for success to prevent it. So going out there, destigmatizing the conversation, normalizing the conversation will in, in turn combat the HIV AIDS epidemic here in the state of Iowa. Hi, I'm John Shaw. I am the area director for primary health care clinics. So we see HIV disproportionately impacts the LGBTQ community, disproportionately impacts the Latinx community, the Black and African American community, you know, primarily people of color who don't have the same access as other people. So what the Prevention Advisory Board does is helps us make sure that we are a part and have access to the communities that need our services the most. Honestly, uh, vitally important. I mean, having, having the community's involvement in prevention work, in HIV work, honestly, and in, in healthcare work is extremely important. If you're not involving the people who are act directly accessing your services, you know, are you, are you really providing the services that they need? Is, is I guess the big question. Last year, our AIDS status was at an all-time high in years during the years following COVID. Not only HIV AIDS, but if that is a concern, all other sexual viruses are a concern as well. It was just like, oh my goodness, how did I not know this before? And I think it's just because the more people that we get involved, the more the word is out there, the more that it becomes normalized and just a part of regular conversations and practices. The biggest thing is, now that we're kind of trending in the right direction with COVID, it is vitally important, like I said, that people in the community do get involved with healthcare. If you, if you are passionate about making sure that your community has health equity comparable to everybody else, volunteer, get out, there's events happening all over the place. And yeah, just reach out to us, reach out to your local health clinics, and just make sure that you can get involved and you know, you're heard.